Alright people, it is what you've been waiting for, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. This is the first video, this is Season 2, Round 1, Match 1. But I regret to inform you that we're going to be starting off with more of a whimper instead of a bang. So, I wouldn't be lying if I said that we're not 100%, you know, just jump into it strong. Uh, my co-commentators are not here to join me, nor do we have any guest guest commentators just yet just yet hopefully we get big enough and get popular enough to have those but since there's going to be so many matches so many different duels i have done the math and we're going to do 120 different matches different videos just for the regular season not including the playoffs we're going to do something different when it comes to the format of these videos from season one if you watch season one then thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support i hope you guys are looking forward to season two but one of the ways that we're going to actually do see some of the duels here in the league for season two is replays. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and commentate over it, watch these replays. I have not seen these duels, so I am jumping into it blind, just like you guys. And we're just going to see the end result. So starting it off, we have the Yugi Dark Magicians versus the Zane Cyber Dragon. So the Yugi Dark Magicians... Uh, the captain is Zeno Prodigy. He is in the top division or the national division, and he is playing his tier three Madoches versus the Zane Cyber Dragons. Uh, the captain is Dueling Network 100, and he is playing his tier one of PK Fire. So the way that the point system will go is if Madoches beat PK Fire, that is three points, three on whopping three points, which. It's a tough feat, it really is, because we already know how great PK Fire is. It's definitely worthy of being a tier 1 deck in the league for Season 2. And that PK Fire wins, and of course, it's only one point. But hey, one point is better than no point. So, go ahead and put that obligatory video or duel starts right here. We're just going to go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to be pausing and playing and reacting and uh, pretty much just watching it fresh, just like you, except with a little bit of commentary. So, uh, this opening hand from Madoches is not too great you know you open up with multiple instant fusions it's not too hot wow uh, i see that the pk fire player you know the pk fire over here you can special summon this uh farfa tribute it off for the vanity fiend and bam lock you out of special summoning so uh just wow just going through your deck drawing 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 and starting off with the pk fire play going into the dante milling and just the resources out the ass have pretty much having that second hand of uh of your graveyard with the PK Fire plays being able to banish and of course being able to pitch to summon the Lady Beatrice. Now this is PK Fire not Burning Abyss. I know they're very similar, but here in the league they're actually both tier one decks. And the league here, PK Fire, you only get one Beatrice. So there is that one Beatrice. But the plays are still there. Uh Ended off very strong with a Beatrice. Set the Soul Charge is, I guess, a bluff. I don't think I would have done that because, as we know, Twin Twister target those two and then there you just lose your Soul Charge. But, of course, getting the Set Fog Blade is good as well. And there's still plenty of plays and plenty of resources to be done. So, we'll go ahead and see uh, what the Madoche plays can be done. And, God, you know, just drawing this cat it's not the greatest. It really isn't. So... Uh, we're seeing Cat being summoned to summon the Owl, but the Owl has nothing to banish, so there's not really anything to be done there. The instant fusion for that, and, and now we're seeing the interrupted play of Beatrice uh, sending the Farfa to banish the X Saber Invoker, and I mean, that might be the end of this turn. I, I really can't see too much of anything else here. Uh, detaching Dante, Dante will go ahead and grab back the, the, the Farfa, and... Uh, now there's actually materials for the owl, for the hoot cake. So hoot cake can go ahead and go up, but it's just going to get hit with the fog blade. So, yeah, all right. Is that it? <laughs> is that it? Yep, yep. The X-Saber Invoker will come back and then clearly see the PK Fire is just taking the ball and running with it. So I don't know if I can see this. Yep, the Break Sword, break that, break that. Uh, not only killing the X-Saber Invoker, but also freeing up the hoot cake to now be selected as an attack target. Uh, just out-resourced, out paste and i think this might be it move the far file away and is that game people is that game <laughs> attack 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 and yes that is game the life points have reached zero so that's the end of uh game one so we're gonna go ahead and come back to game two see if madoches can take games two and three so all right and we are back with game two 
So, uh, just looking at the opening hands, it looks like PK Fire starting off strong besides the double twin twister. Uh, but you got your, of course, your Pot of Desires to go that plus one. You got your Terror Top to do that plays that while the Medoche player is not like you got some hand traps, which is nice, but now where are your Medoche? So the struggle is real. Hopefully, you can hold uh, off his plays with like Valor and Ghost Ogre. But uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, who is going first? Looks like PK Fire is going first, and wow, like. That, that's kind of slow. You know, I really thought you would have gone off. Like, all you do is just play the Desires and just set one Twin Twisters when you have Tour Guide ready to go. You have Terra Top ready to go. Maybe you just wanted to take it slow and not really do anything. Uh, but, ooh, that, that's, that's really a passive play. Wow. And, of course, the, the Medoche player, look, that opening hand, though, it is pretty bad pretty bad uh some hand traps you got the the hoot cake but of course hoot cake needs some monsters to, in the graveyard to be banished so you need to bait out them uh him out to be able to use the hand trap i don't know maybe set one of the ghost ogres 18 booties better than nothing and um here we go now the plays that can be done uh we see the terra top plays and it gets hit with an effect there so i want to do you stop that uh plusing that search up terra top but you also got a monster in the graveyard for your hoot cake for next turn but uh it's not done it's not over with yet we see the tour guide of course tour guide under to one very powerful play tour guide into the dante detach mill three and here we go and dante gets hit with the ghost ogre snow rabbit but the damage is already done dante has already milled three so and that's probably what he wanted in the end so the rhino will go ahead and send uh sends the the graph and the graph will send the cow cab cow cab doesn't do anything was it like bounce back i believe uh yeah you set target one set spell trap and turn it back to the hand but there's nothing there so i don't know maybe i probably i don't know i probably would have sent like a skarm and skarm would you know send uh summon graph you know, grab some some Skarm, and Skarm would have got you a search to the end phase. I mean, there was really no point in doing the Cow Cat player play. Hey, hey, it's, it's your deck, it's your play. So, uh, now it's back to the Medoche player's turn. Drawing the Messenger Lotto is not the best draw, it really isn't. They're going to go ahead and see uh, the MST played on Twin Twister, clear up that back row, and uh, now it is time. So, Hoot Cake can go ahead and banish uh, the Ghost Ogre, or the, or the Effect Veiler, and uh, it's time to get the ball rolling. So, we're seeing... Uh, and Jelly, and Jelly is going to tribute itself to some of the Messengerado. Messengerado, of course, gets a search for Ticket. Uh, but since there was no other enabling plays similar to how you would have like a cat or an instant fusion for that additional play, there's going to be no Tiramisu this turn. Uh, not terrible, but, and the ball seems like it might be in the majority of players uh, court. Oh, wow, you're going to go ahead and take the neg. Uh, Go ahead and twin twister take the neg to pop the ticket but then you pitched uh libic and libic's like hey i'm gonna go ahead and special summon a level three dark fiend type monster with effects negated so it won't die so go ahead and special summon that skarm and if you have a different um, monster on the field that's not a burning abyss it will not die so that's one of the things that's a benefit of libic so uh just normal summoning that uh ghost reaper and winter cherries which i'm not sure how much would uh how much use that would get if you're trying to cherry something out of his uh out of his extra deck, but it is a tuner, and we are seeing the summon of Virgil. So I thought you, you wouldn't see Virgil's this uh, this duel. Uh, Virgil used the effect pitch to try to pop the messing gelato, but oh, unfortunately, there is another ghost ogre which will pop. But I believe yes, uh, Virgil will still resolve to put the messing gelato back, and uh, Virgil will get you uh, a draw when it's destroyed by the ghost. Ogre. And we see. A beautiful top deck of a speedroid terra top. Uh, the turn's not over. We are seeing the special summon the terra top going to Dante, and that was that was the perfect top deck. Just a beautiful top deck. Wow. Mill the sir. The sir will summon back the Virgil that got destroyed, and wow, it turned around. That was a beautiful top. Deck. That was the perfect top deck, and it looks like the ball is back in the PK Fire players' uh, uh, court and. Well, drawing the Chaos Trap Hole when it is way, way too late. Uh, you're facing down a a Virgil and a Dante, and it, I, I'd say that this duel is pretty much over, people. So get rid of that. That will banish. Move that out of the way. Go up to 5,000 on Dante. Tack, tack, and that is game, I believe. Now you're just showing off. Now you're just showing off. Like, look what I can do. But no, people, that is game. So 2-0. So uh, Tier 1 PK Fire ran by Dual Network 100 and the Zane Cyber Dragon beats the tier three Mondotes and as we as we know how 
point system works in the league. That is one point for the Zane Cyber Dragons and unfortunately zero points for the Yugi Dark Magicians. But that was very entertaining and I believe it was a great match to start off the league. So that is one down and just including the regular season, 119 to go, people. So look forward to it. So uh, there's going to be a nice chunk of the season two videos just like this. Maybe me join, but... Uh, someone joining me, but it's just going to be me sitting here casually watching the matches, just, uh, you know, sitting here watching it fresh, just like you guys. Uh, hopefully this gets big enough to where we can get some guest commentators, so we'll definitely either record it more in a live setting or try to watch it live. But as like I said, you guys have plenty, plenty of these to watch. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I really do. If you guys can go ahead and support the league by, and support the channel, really. Uh, there's a couple things that you can do. You can hit that subscribe button because uh, all of Season 2's videos will be uploaded to the Evil Mastery channel. Uh, hit that like button to show your support. Um, in the link in, descript in the description, there's links. You can join the Discord to join a team and support that captain. Um, there's not really too much customizations with deck because there's so much to keep track of. Uh, but you can go ahead and suggest and talk to them and suggest what decks to play when against which opponent. And also... Uh, really just support uh, whoever you want to support. There are 16 different captains, 16 different teams, so there's plenty to do there. Also, you guys can go and click the link in the description to follow the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League official Twitter uh, once we start getting the ball rolling, because like I said, we're starting, but it's not 100%. We're still a little bit slow. Uh, once we get 100% into this, uh, we can inform you on the Twitter. We can send out a tweet saying, like, hey, we're recording the, the duel right now. Come and watch, you know. Uh, but uh, till then, that's a great link to, uh, thing to follow. And really just thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for support. Hopefully this does well. Uh, I really wish I could spread the news a little bit more. But you know what? I'm just happy that Season 2 is up and rolling. So you will be getting yet another uh, match tomorrow. You'll be getting... Two matches a week, you know, Saturday and Sunday, uh, and how there's eight eight matches in one round, so pretty much one round will be a month, a month pretty much. So you got plenty of content, so look forward to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think about the first match here, uh, you give to Draft League Season Two. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with yet another match replay to. Uh, commentate over. All right, people. Thanks for watching.